and welcome to this quick little tutorial for UVI's Falcon um, on how to utilize multi samples in your patches. Um, I'm just kind of getting into Falcon and I've been absolutely blown away by it. It's the most insane uh, synth, this incredibly deep, incredibly powerful, and um, I'm loving it a bit. So I'll try and do like a full detailed review at some point. Um, because of its complexity, there is quite a steep learning curve. And um, I found so far uh, that a lot of the documentation is a little bit um, ambiguous. And there's also not a ton of uh, information online uh, about this. Um, so I've done a bit of fiddling. And well, I, I suppose this may seem obvious to some of you. Um, it wasn't obvious instantly to me. Uh, so we're going to just take a look at... Um, setting up a quick patch with some multi samples that I have here. I've recorded them and I have included the notes in the naming structure of the multi samples, which is important because uh, you'll see in a bit why we need that. Um, so we're just going to start off with, we've got an empty patch here and we're going to head over to our tree um, and add a new program. Now, this is the program level. This contains different layers, which would be different sounds. Uh, we can add a layer, and then each sample is going to be imported as a key group into our layer. Now, to get our samples in, it's fairly simple. We don't need, need to go and create key groups manually. We can just uh, shift-click through all our samples, and we just bring them in. Now, I don't release them just yet. Yeah, you can see you can uh, move around to line your samples up, but we're going to hit Alt or Option key, and uh, for a alternate, uh, for a custom drop, what happens then is it gives you this little dialog box, and you can choose how your samples are spread across the mapping zone. In this case, I have not sampled velocities and stuff. If you included velocities for, say, acoustic instruments and stuff, um, it would map that automatically to the velocity ranges as well. Note name is going to be sufficient for us this time round, and we are mapping this to layer one, which is correct. Let's just hit OK, and there's our samples, and they are complied with the naming structure. So we have C zero one two three four. Now we just need to get them over the rest of the keyboard. So instead of doing this manually and stretching them out, we can just right click or select all of them. Right click and go to extend key ranges that'll automatically extend them in all different directions until they meet each other and then over the rest of the keyboard so now what we have is our multi-sampled saw wave um, now what you would usually want to do from here is start uh, looking at effects and modulating things. Now, this is where I kind of originally got slightly stuck. In my mind, uh, I wanted to, you know, add a single filter uh, that would uh, filter all of the multi-samples. Um, you cannot do that in the way that Falcon is structured. Um, you need to remember that trigger information or notes on information is only available in the key group levels. Uh, therefore, if you add a effect to uh, your layer section or at your program level, that effect is not able to um, be modulated by envelopes or anything that triggers. Uh, now, you can modulate it with LFOs or uh, arpeggiators, those are slightly different, uh, but you will not be able to uh, uh, modulate them with envelopes and it is slightly confusing because you can create the envelope uh, at at that level um, which is rather frustrating because uh, it, it didn't make a whole lot of sense uh, what I mean by that is if we sort of added a, a analog filter um, you can in fact right click and say add modulations and at layer level choose a new analog ADSR However, nothing happens, nothing triggers, uh, you can't modulate that at all, um, which is slightly strange. I would have thought that they would have grayed that out if, if it's a function that can't actually do what it's supposed to do. 
So the way around this, and I initially could not figure this out, but the way around this is to actually add a, a separate filter to each key group. Um, and initially, you know, if you've got hundreds of different multi multi samples in here, uh, you would have to go in here and then add an effect to this one, and then add an effect to this one, and so on and so on and so on. So now to get this effect of modulating a filter over all our things, what we need to do is just go and select all of them, uh, or select none. In fact, if you go to the the tree on the left hand side, and if you select the layer, or all of them at the same time like that. You can, in fact, uh, you'll see under key groups here now you have multiple selection. When multiple selection is visible there, you can go and add filter. And the filters are now on every single key group. We can have a look there. We see an analog filter on every single one. And let's just make sure I've not fiddled with the filter. Okay, that's right. So we go back there. So we now got multiple selection again. And now we can go and add a modulation at the layer level or key group level. And let's just choose a normal ADSR. And there you have it. So we have our um, modulation working correctly for the filter on every single individual key group. Cool, I hope that helps and I hope we'll be bringing you some more uh, tutorials for Falcon as I spend more time with this beast of a synth. Um, if you haven't got that, this, uh, I, um, unfortunately there's no demo, but um, I can 100% say that you are, your money's sa uh, it's a safe bet. I mean, your money is well spent on this $349. The amount of stuff that you can accomplish with this is insane. So yeah, I, I wouldn't hesitate, just go and grab this. I can't believe I didn't get this sooner. Anyways, um, I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.